morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Sleep, sleep has still been challenging here. Good morning, Christine. Dogs, these dogs. I'm just blaming it on the dogs because they keep waking me up throughout the evening. Wow. So, what kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance do we need? What do we need? What will be helpful for the collective to start the new week? What kind of energy are we dealing with this week? Last week seemed to be all kinds of believing in yourself, listening to yourself, and doing what you're supposed to do. So let's see what what the cards have for us for this week. Some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective. What, what will make this week a little bit more, I don't know, easy for all of us? What kind of info do we need? Huh. To have a little more knowledge, wisdom, and guidance to make this week easier, we need to have, are you ready for this? Faith. We need to have faith. Faith in the process. This is the first time this card has come out. It's a beautiful card. You are awake again. Well, good morning, Heidi. Good morning, Audrey. Thanks for being here. So we have faith in the process, and this is interesting because there's a woman in a red wagon with two birds. Faith in the process. Hmm. Can we have faith in the process? It's hard sometimes, right? Let's see. It's always exciting when a new card comes out. Faith in the process. Faith in the process. Where did you go? All right. No matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. When we are at the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources, we might be left with only the spiritual power, that of faith. Fortunately, that is enough. Hmm. I'm going in and out of focus. Like that? Really? I seem to be in focus here. Sorry about that. I have no control over the internet. But I have faith that, it, that it'll start working. Um, as unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical effort of a thousand men. That is because the invisible help is not limited by physical law. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that defy limitations. It can, in fact, affect, invoke the influence situations through invisible but undeniable persuasive means. Hmm. This is a time for humility and trust. You need comp complete faith in the process and events that are happening. So we all need to have faith in all of the events that are happening because they're all happening for a reason. All of the madness that is happening in the world is happening for a reason. I mean, it was bound to happen, right? You can only take so much stuff, and then it's just going to pop. So can we all have faith in the process? Faith in your process? Whatever that means. Not my process, because my process is my process. What's your process? Faith in your process. Hmm. <laughs> Where should we go? Keepers of the light? Let's go keepers of the light. See what the keepers of the light have for us about having faith in the process. Have some faith in the process. And it can be tricky, having faith in the process, when every time you turn around there seems like our, our uh, government is sticking its head further and further up its own butt, we'll say. But can we have faith in the process? Faith in the process that all the old systems are crumbling down. 
so we can create some new ones, so we can create the systems that will actually support all of us and will benefit all of us, not just some of us. And then maybe, just maybe, innocent people will stop being killed walking home from work by the police. That would be neat. If you haven't heard about the Elijah stuff, please go, go, go check that out. I didn't realize it happened last August. It's absolutely horrible, heartbreaking. Poor young man that was walking home. He used to play violin for his cats, for cats in the shelter. Literally got his life taken out by a bunch of assholes. Anyway, anyway, trust the process. We need to all let it fucking burn to the ground so we can bring it back in 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 a way that serves that serves the collective, not just the few. All right, it does get worse before it gets better, right? You have to hit the bottom of the barrel before you can start getting, you know, climbing back up to the top. So faith in the process. What do the keepers of the light have for us today? Some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance to keep us in this space of faith. Good morning, Heather. We've got Mercury. Open communication. And interesting, because Mercury is retrograde. Everybody freaking out because Mercury is retrograde? Open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Speak up with love and be heard. But be very cautious since Mercury is retrograde. Be mindful of the words that you're saying. Be mindful of the words that are coming out of your mouth. <clears throat> Maybe take a moment before you speak and think. And then speak. Let's see what the book has to say about Mercury. Open all levels of communication now. Important messages, information, and insight are being shared. You may hear from an old friend or family member or have an opportunity to finally understand a loved one you've not had an easy time with. You may be able to clarify situations when you feel you weren't heard properly or were misunderstood. Get things off your chest in a loving way so that you can clear all the roads to love in your life. Listen to communication, listening to, li sorry, listening to communication is a two-way street. Mercury is here to allow you to hear clearly and be heard. Mercury is here to help you hear clearly and be heard. That's right, because we also have to hear clearly. And I got, and I got an amen. Can I get an amen for open, clear communication? And have faith in the process. Faith in the process, open, clear communication, and our angels and ancestors, what do you have for us today? <laughs> I had I two amens. All right. All right. Um, so I, I think it was yesterday, uh, our friend Natalie Levin put out one of her uh, astrology videos, very informative about all the things that are going on. Go check that out. Follow Natalie if, if you're not following. She's putting out a lot of, a lot of good info that will help us, you know, how, keep our faith in the process. And um, I really enjoy how she kind of keeps reminding everyone maybe to just be quiet for a little bit. You know, think before you, before you speak. Yeah, we need to get the weight off of our chest, but, you know, make sure we get that weight off of our chest in a, in a kind, loving way, you know? Don't be an asshole. All right, what do the angels and ancestors have for us? The guardian angel, you are not alone. You are not alone. I will drop her link, Pamela. I will definitely drop her link. All right, so keep faith. Keep the faith, keep the faith, your faith, whatever that means for you, not what Bob or Susie has to say, and good Lord, I'm, I'm just going to stop. Anyway, your own faith, keep your faith, what faith means for you, open, clear communication, get the shit off of your chest that you need to get off of your chest, but get it off your chest in a kind, loving way, don't be an asshole. And in our guardian angel, you are not alone, you are not alone. Let's see what the book has to say about this. I love that, that sacred geometry in there, all that good stuff. You are not alone. We're not. We're not alone. We often forget that our, our uh, guardian angels have our back. And all we have to do is just let them in. Say, hey, peeps, 
My guardian angels, you got my back? Let's do this. But oftentimes we forget, and we forget to call them in, and then we were like, no, who was there to help me? My guardian angels weren't there. Well, right, you didn't invite them in. They didn't think you needed them. Ask for help. You, even with your guardian angels, you, you have to ask for help. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all their lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first, ready for this? Ask for it. In order to fully receive their, their support, first, Ask for it. Then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Yep, 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 yep. To unite, combine, integrate. That which unites is known as yoga. That which brings about union. Yes, yoga, union. We always seem to, I don't want to say we all, there seems to be a habit, a pattern of people forgetting that yoga means union, that we are all connected, that it's all the same. Anyway, your guardian angel has your back, but you have to invite them in. You have to say, hey, let's go, peeps. Rally the troops. Rally your troops. They're there. They will definitely get your back. So we are being asked to have faith in the process, your process whatever that means for you. If you're not sure, sit with it. Ask the question. Have faith in the process. Open communication. Clear, open communication. Take a breath before you speak. Take a breath before you write that comment out. Take a breath before you start acting as if you know everything. And maybe move with love. Let your ego drop away. And speak from a space of love. And I know that your peeps has your back. Your guardians have your back. And what do we have for our, for our overall energy to um, wind down the card pool Sunday service? What is our overall energy for this beautiful Sunday? What do we have? Some more knowledge, wisdom, and guidance. More knowledge. It's almost measured on um, cube, missing the little point on the bottom of it there, Pamela. Sorry. But that's what this guy is. It's hard to see. Um, so some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance. What kind of energy will be supportive of the collective today? What are we dealing with? What do we need to know? What will help us move along? What will help us? Keep the faith in the process. Caring connections. Caring connections. How sweet is that? Caring connections. And I'm going to say it doesn't have to be romantic connections, but just caring connections. Care about your tribe. Care about the people in your life. Care about your fellow man. Let's see what the book says, though, about caring connection. And it could be your whole team, your whole spirit guide team. Friendship, partnership of two, possible love. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace with a woman holding a blossom, blossoms of new love. Like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people. This card upright signals the beginning of a deep, a deepening of a kindred spirit friendship, or even the appearance of a new love. It can also signify formal business partnership. When this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationship you already share may be more intimate, purposeful, and present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deep bond. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. So... We're keeping faith, keeping the faith in the process. We have our clear, open communication. Your guardians have your back. 
And then maybe you have some sweet connections happening actually here in the physical realm. Maybe your, your whole team, your, your soul tribe is about to show up, your soul family, if you will, are about to show up and help you keep the faith that will help you have that clear, open communication. Sunday, new week, new adventure. May we all have faith in the process and speak clearly and kindly. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your fellow man. Be kind to the dumbass. Because, you know, we're all at our own level of awareness. We're all exactly where we need to be. And some people need to be a dumbass because that's just where they are in their level of awareness and their level of evolution. So keep the faith. Keep the faith. Don't let CNN and Fox News and MSNBC pull you down. Keep the faith. Turn your television off and stop paying attention. Keep the faith. Keep that clear, open communication. Get the shit off of your chest that you need to get off your chest. Say something if you feel like you need to say something. And know that in saying it, your guides have your back. It's okay. You're taken care of. And it's okay to speak up. It's okay to allow your voice to be heard. And then allow that caring connection to come in. Be on the lookout. You know? Maybe you're out at the grocery store and you bump into someone and you're like, Oh shit, you're part of my soul family. I was supposed to be at the grocery store at this moment in time to actually run into you so all of this could happen. So be aware. This whole week, be on the lookout for some sweet souls that may show up in your life and just keep the faith. Keep the faith. Have a beautiful Sunday, everyone. <clears throat> Do something sweet for yourself. I'll drop Natalie's link down below. I'll be back tomorrow morning again for... Uh, Monday. We're just going to keep rolling. Head back to Philly sometime, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah. And I'm going to keep the faith. Maybe I'll get some, some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the, from, from the collective for myself and some kind of direction to take in my life. We shall see. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a great day. Do something sweet for yourself. Get that stuff off of your chest and be on the lookout for those sweet, caring connections. Have a great day. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.